In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how to beat man coverage out of the U-Trips offense in Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is focused on helping people become better at Madden 21 and also uh, better at Madden 22 as we are getting prepared for the new season. Now, as we're getting prepared for the new season, I am continually to just deep dive into what I believe to be some of the best offenses that are going to happen in Madden 22. Right now, off the top of my head, the best offenses are going to be the spread offense, the bunch offense, the trips tight end offense, the U trips offense, which is what we're going to talk about in this video. Um, and then also some uh, some other ones that I think are going to be really, really good. Uh, I think tight doubles is going to be a really solid offensive scheme. I also think that um, under center is going to make a little bit of a comeback uh, just because of the way that the user mechanics are going to work. So I think you're going to see some strong close next year. But uh, anyways, let's dive into this breakdown on U-Trips. Now, if you want to get my uh, Y off trips pats or U trips offensive guide. I'm going to leave a link to that down in the description. It's a great offense. It's very simple to run and it's very, very effective at the same time. And so in this video, like I said, we're going to be talking specifically about man coverage and how you can really uh, do some damage to it by using one of my favorite passing plays in the game, Pat slot out. This is a really simple play, but it's really, really effective um, specifically against cover to man, uh, which is what we're going to focus on in this video okay so i'm just going to sub in some backup guys so i don't get bum brushed through the a gap or anything but this is in particular for shaded down man coverage and the cool part is you really don't need to make a lot of adjustments um what i like to do is if you have hot route master you are free to you know put a skinny post out on the field and smart route it if you want to try that um you could put the tight end on a crosser on this uh, this would be a great play to use a tight end crosser on um you know you can do all those all those little things that you want to do so uh i'm not going to say that you have to use a tight end crosser i'm just going to say it's an option so if you wanted to smart route circle use that tight end crosser and then what i would recommend is take the triangle running back here because again this is man coverage i would either put him on a table route a ghost route or an option route one of those three and then i'm just going to motion over the slot and i'm going to snap right at there right at that little spot right there what you're going to see is r1 is going to pretty much instantly be able to have pretty decent separation against man-to-man -man coverage um right there for whatever reason he didn't do a great job for me so let me show you that one more time so right there's where you're snapping and you see you're just going to come across now if you need if for whatever reason jamel dean is playing lockdown coverage on antonio brown against you uh you are free to just put him on a slant uh, a slant is going to do basically the same thing I like the route, um, I really do like the in route better just because of where it, it's gonna get to. Um, it's gonna be a little bit deeper than a drag route, but depending on the route running, sometimes that's an issue. Now this running back flat route is actually really, really good against man coverage. It's really good against blitzes. It's really good against pretty much everything. If you use a table route, in a, in, and I'm kind of being a little specific here, but if you use this table route, what you're gonna see is you can basically just snap, throw it out there and get a couple yards quick. Um, now, if you use an option route, let me show you what that looks like. An option route is gonna be a little bit better for both zone and man coverage. You're gonna see that an option route is just gonna cut to the sideline. And as you're going to see, you're going to be able to have a lot of success against that coverage. Now, another thing that you can do from this is if you have, especially if you have hot route master, is you can put your tight end on a little post route just like this. And what you'll see is this tight end post is such a smooth read. It's going to be good against man. It's going to be good against zone. It doesn't matter if they use zone drops or not. You're going to get open um, against that. Now, if you don't have Hot Route Master, I want to give you some other routes that I would recommend that you use. Uh, the first one would be I would go ahead and uh, take the uh, take the tight end on this play, and uh, whoops, I would just put him on a simple five yard out, um, whether it be a flat or an out. If you're if you're really more focused on man coverage, then I would put him on a five yard out, so it looks something. The play would look play out would look something like that right there. And what you'll see is this this formation in particular is really good about beating man coverage from the tight end. The tight end out route is really good. It's good against man. It's good against zone. It's a really simple little check down route that you can utilize. Another thing real quick about the square receiver is if you pass lead him, um, if you're having trouble like that, completing that route, then you, you know, I like to leave this stock fade 
Um, because if they don't have a deep blue on the field, you're going to have a pretty decent opportunity to be able to beat man-to-man -man coverage. Um, you'll see, like right here, if he's even, he's always, almost always going to get a step. But um, as you can see, the, help, the safety help over top does kind of help him a little bit. This other play, PA Fork, is also really good. It's a similar, uh, it's kind of a similar concept. So you'll see here, you know, I could do like a basically the same concept. But now what you'll see is I got a little bit of a deeper uh, S post. That S post is going to really beat man coverage just like the other one will, but it's going to beat it like right over the middle. So what that's going to force them to do is it's going to force them to take the safety help away, which is then going to allow you to hit, um, you know, your, your pat slot out route. So they kind of work hand in hand. Both plays beat man to man though. Uh, and I would just smart route circle. And what you'll find about the circle route is basically right when he cuts the inside, you can click on and get this nice little... Uh, dive catch animation it's pretty good against man it's really good against zone and uh, the tight end out route is going to do a good job of clearing the space so that you can hit that route right there another little thing that you can do from this um, that i like is to basically use double drag routes um, in combination with a wheel route so you'll see right here just using these double drags um, they're just going to mesh right underneath here kind of create some confusion and you'll be able to get an easy five to ten yards the other reason why i like this specific setup is that it does a really good job for opening up this post right underneath it so and this is really the heartbeat behind this offense you really um you know through your slot receiver and through your tight end you can really open up uh the, the middle of the field so uh as you can see this is kind of what we're looking like this tight end route i just want to go over it with you really quickly it's not um it's not bad against man um especially if you have like a good tight end um, so you can use that against against uh, man coverage. What I would do is if you wanted to use that specific route against man-to-man -man coverage, I would 100% recommend taking Brown and bringing him in motion using the option route because the option route is going to do a good job of like pulling zones and everything. It's also going to do a good job against man, but like right there essentially. And so you'll see you can hit that tight end post. The biggest thing is you've got to get them out of your way. So. If, if it was me and I could get like an ideal um, thing, it would be that they're gonna user the R1 and I'm gonna throw the tight end post right over their right over their head. That's kind of what I want uh, to happen. So I have that base, basically what I've created is I've created a high low. Now, I think the Hot Route Master tight end post is better uh, f specifically for beating man. So if you see something like that, you can easily beat man coverage to the inside whether they have good route running or not. But if, if you don't have Hot Route Master and you, and you want to figure out another thing that you can do, another thing you can do is simply put the tight end on a delayed drag. Make sure you double team the guy that is opposite. I would make sure in this case to put that running back on the table route. And what you'll see is once they go with R1, then you're just going to release. And um, you see that he's pretty much always going to beat me in coverage uh, right to the middle of the field there. So... You've got a bunch of different options from this play against against man. Um, another thing that I, I would tell you not to ever, ever like underestimate is just a simple little uh, low ball hitch. You're going to see that you get this natural little man switch, which I think is really interesting. Um, so if I run like a curl flat concept, just like that right there, uh, I just want you to watch. You're going to see here that they're going to get this little man switch and it's going to give you a nice mismatch on that receiver. So anyways, this thing is pretty dang good. Um, one last thing real quick. This is, it doesn't require hot route master. So you, what you can do is use that same concept and use an out to the square receiver. You're going to see they're going to switch off and it's going to give you outside position or outside leverage. So a lot of ways to beat man from this formation. This is just a few of them. If you want to learn exactly how I recommend running the U-Trips offensive scheme, you can get my full uh, offensive guide in the description of this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and let me know if you have any questions.